Moore Sports Park today. It's SFG 350 event. It is Thursday, 25 grand to win today. The sun is shining. It's like 83 degrees out here. We just got done with time hits and uh, getting ready to roll into round number one. Made a couple good time shots so far. First hit off the morning. Car went at 476 with a four. Uh, hit the tree good for 002. Uh, went up there for the second pass, which was a dial for dollars, trying to hit the dial in with a zero. And uh, it was like a $20 entry thing or something like that. Thought I could probably go a 76 with like an eight, maybe a seven. I knew that wasn't gonna work. So I put the 77 on, uh, drug the brake pedal through the, the traps, ended up going 77 with a one. So I just, just missed it by a skosh. So like I said, we're heading up for round one here shortly, but before we do that, let's thank today's video sponsor, which is Get em Performance. Get em Performance is responsible for creating this beautiful piece of all-American made, all-billet aluminum, 1600 CFM twin blade gas carburetor. We love this piece. This is my first year on this carburetor. Very, very impressed. Last weekend out here, we had a lot better weather, and I'm pretty sure I laid down like five laps, maybe even six laps in a row, where the car ran or either would have ran 469 to the eighth mile it's deadly consistent the car is working it's fast it's it's easy to service it's easy to change jets there's o-rings there's no gaskets to break all the trick features go and check them out links down in the description get them performance don't forget to use discount code gullstar5 if you want to save yourself some money on an awesome unit like this Track Tom Gall, the Gar Star Machine, going to be down at a 477. Track was dead late going to above. It all backed into him by 28 10 thou. Seventy eight, one forty three, double oh six. Soak some of that juice up, you guys know how to do it.
Let's go. Call coming at you, the Goss Star TV machine down in a 477. The other Thompson Engineering and Racing machine down in a 603. I found a new way to lose, at least a, a way to lose that I have not done before in all of my years of racing. And uh, you guys know that I have put a lot of hours in on the practice tree this off season from Porta Tree Timing Equipment. Uh, huge thank you to Porta Tree for allowing me such an awesome system to practice on. I put a lot of hours on that thing. The key difference to running a practice tree versus sitting in a car, one of the key differences is that on a practice tree, if you want to bump down, you use the same button. And apparently, today I decided I was gonna see if that worked in the car. <laughs> so I actually, oh, that's not my proudest moment. Not my proudest moment hitting the trans brake button a second time. So that was a mess. Automotive blowing tracks. They're going to be right here in Sarantown at 434 and Tom Gaw, Gaw Star TV, Premier Bracket Racing Channel. Lucas Hill on board, 477 here to left hand side. Zero, how about that, 19 total. Dilday was 028, dead five, and that wasn't even a ball game. Didn't have any room. Zero, zilch. Lane 477, Jake the Snake, right side 495. Seven to 32, seven, dead three, gonna get the win in the left lane. Jake the Snake, 32, dead two, no good. Winner left side.
side, Rick Berkler, right side. Nine south separate them, Tom Gall, 15, dead to 17 total. Rick Berkler, 26, locked out. Rick was 26 and 23 under, no good. 13 under. Cars, American Chassis 461 and Tom Gaw. Gaw Star TV down in a 474 here on the left side. A green top paint, give it to Brian Folk. Yeah, baby. The cheering section, I see you. 0 12 dead 6, 18 total. Gaw was 0 21, 14 above, 35 total, no good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done for the night. Uh, ended up a little bit, a little bit tardy on the tree uh, in fifth round, so at least got to do some rounds here tonight. Happy with my performance, happy overall. Um, not happy with how I lost the first entry, but. Uh, in this, uh, in the second entry, I was 21 on the tree, uh, and I and I had the thought in my head, like, you know, that that really should be bumped. I did have that thought, but I just don't have like the muscle memory down in my car. Like, I'm not super confident. I can't just go and and hit the bump down button. Like, it, it's not natural to me yet because I'm I'm just still used to the practice tree where you hit the same button and like the bump down button. I have to like think about where it is. And there's no time for that. There's no time for it. I'm, I'm only like, I've only ever successfully hit the bump down button when I'm the faster car. When I'm the slower car, I, I haven't gotten the muscle memory down to do it quick enough and actually hit the bump down when I'm the uh, slower car. I had the thought that it should have been bumped, didn't do it, ended up 21. Uh, B Folk put a great lap together. He was 12 and I know he was, had to have been I don't know. That race looked really goofy because I know he caught me right away. He was holding probably three at least, maybe more than that. I feel like he caught me like before the 3.30. I don't know. But I was thinking I was on a high 73 pass with a 74 on the window. And my plan was to drag the brake through the finish line to try to land low dead on. But... Uh, plans change he got in my head when he was at the 330 whapping the gas and uh, there was just a lot going on and I so I just ran it all the way to the end and stomped on the brake pedal um, and then you know I think the car actually was probably gonna run dead on with me doing nothing I probably should have just left it flat on the floor and drove it under it, it you know I would have been my only shot but I don't think I could have pushed Brian out uh, he was he was uh, dead on with a six. I don't think I could. He was going to be where he was going to be. He knew where he needed to be. He did it just perfect. So 
I'm bowing out for the night, uh, fifth round exit. It's a great start to the weekend. Happy to actually turn some laps. Happy with the performance of the car. Super happy that you guys watched the video all the way to the end. Please, if you're still here at the end of the video, you must like this content. Please consider hitting the subscribe button. There's a red button under the video right here. Please, it means the world to me. If you guys would subscribe, definitely hit the like button. Check out the Gulfstar TV swag shop to support the creation of more videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.